Ian77 said that Golem is still viable, but he was using Golem Pump with Healer. I absolutely hate that deck. I get countered every single time I played it. I went up against Fireball, Arrow, Zap, Lightning, Nato, Arrows, like a bunch of Firecracker, Hog Rider. Um, just a bunch of terrible matchups for that deck with the Princess Tower. And I don't even think Princess Tower is the best. Like, I know all these pros are using it, but like, you know, I... I think they are not giving Cannoneer its, its credit. It's honestly a really good tower troop. They just need to build decks that are good with it. And I literally just took the Evo Goblin, uh, Goblin Giant deck, and just made it a Golem deck. And we're going to see how well that does. I've been doing pretty well with that Goblin Giant deck. I debated putting in Night Witch instead of the Dark Prince, but I'm just going to roll without it. And we're going to see how that, that goes. Dark Prince and Prince, they're just so good. And we'll see if we can uh, get some wins going here. But Pump is just, it's not viable. It really isn't. Like, Yin is really good at the game. So he can make a deck like that look good. And he can think it's viable because he's Ian. But for majority of Golem players, it's not really going to work out. Like, you can win some games, but if you're going to play for, like, two hours and try and push up, it's not going to happen. Like, I'm sorry, but it really isn't. So, our guy has P.E.K.K.A. here. Spent a decent amount of elixir, so I'm going to go in with a push. Maybe he doesn't have P.E.K.K.A. We'll see, but I'm going to go arrows here as well. Let's see, Dark Prince gets to the tower. Let's go. Solid damage. I'm going to rage this. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm going to go Bomber here in the back. Yep. We lose uh, a lot of damage, but I think we need to create some pressure. Get some damage early on before we're not able to get it later. Alright. Let's get our Prince. He might not even have P.E.K.K.A. So, we gotta be on the lookout for that. But I'm positive he does. Nice, let's go. Man, I, I wish the Prince Charge did damage there. Kind of broken, it doesn't. Okay, our opponent has Pump. Yeah, they definitely do not have P.E.K.K.A. If they do, that's weird. But I think... Uh, we'll be able to defend. Get a golem down here soon. Let's go golem now. Okay, he goes with uh, Evo Battle Ram Knight on the right. Alright. Here we go. Because three muskies, bro. I rage just in case. I had to sacrifice my Evo bomber. No. Look at the prince. Look at the prince. Alright, I don't think I don't think that was a good play for him here. We're gonna go golem. We're gonna make this work. We're gonna go rage. We're gonna go arrows. We're gonna go zap. Golem's gonna get there. Golemites. Do some work. 79 HP. Rage. Yes, let's go. Rage is a 79 plus damage. That's crazy. Let's go. That's what I mean about pump. You can leave it there and not touch it. 
Like, I didn't even use a single spell last game on that pump. He had Elixir Vanish the whole time. Still lost because pump just sucks. <laughs> it just, it really does suck. Um, you can get huge Elixir advantages and still not get any positive Elixir trades or get any, like, good pushes. So, you do have to be wary about that. Damn, this guy is spamming. Chill out, bro. Chill out. Alright, not gonna go golem. I mean, we could, but... Nah. I'm gonna leak elixir here. Until double elixir, we're just gonna chill out, play defense. We got some good responses to the cards he has. Let's not, uh, let's not be dumb here. All right, I'm just gonna go Prince. I'll zap this. We'll take like one hit from a goblin. We gotta rage this up. Nice, Prince should charge. Let's go. Rage and Prince, such a good combination of cards. Now we got our Evo Bomber for this, since we don't have arrows. Phoenix takes out the Princess. And we're up on damage. Double Elixirs coming up. There's a good chance we probably won't even need to go Golem to win if uh, we're still playing like this. Will the bird respond? No, he doesn't. Alright, let's get a Prince for this Knight. I don't want to go Golem just... Okay, I'm going to go Golem now if he just places the Tesla. I mean, he will cycle back to another one. But... Should be fine. Bomber here. Alright, that didn't... That didn't get it, but... That's fine. I'm just going to rage this. I'll go Prince in the back here. Go Dark Prince on the left. Now he's got to worry about both lanes. I will arrow this princess. Maybe he goes Goblin Gang as well. We got both. And look at it on the left here. We got the Dark Prince. Man. What a good play. So now we got damage on both sides. Nice. Phoenix does get that. Let's go. Let's go Bomber as well. Alright, now we can go with our Golem. And now we got rage we got arrows just got a solid defense let's just go rage here i'm not even going to use arrows don't even need to all right i will use arrows on this princess though all right let's get a split push i'm gonna go prince here i'm gonna go bomber on the left let's just zap this here nice the bomber almost got to the tower Okay, Golem should get here. I'm just going to rage up. Golem will get there. Okay, explosion damage. All we got to do is just get arrows down. And that's going to be GG's. Let's go. Alright, it looks like this guy has Ice Bow, which I haven't played that in a long time. But we'll see how we do against it with this deck. Just going to wait for him to make a play. No reason for us to. I mean, we could get a Golem down. Okay, he probably doesn't have it <laughs> we'll see what he's got here all right what you got for us buddy could be pekka could be pekka i'm just gonna zap that i don't know if i should let it go or not i'm not i'm not gonna let it touch my tower we'll create some pressure back okay he he does go with pekka doesn't have anything else to block it. Okay, now that he goes Pekka, if I go Phoenix and... Okay, he's got Wizard too. Alright, yeah, that's going to get a hit. I gotta go in double prince right now. Gotta rage up. I'm 
Nice. We took the tower. Okay. We have a choice here to let that go or defend it. I'm gonna not let it go. It sucks wasting my evil bomber like this, but you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. I think, honestly, we could probably defend and be fine. I don't think he has any spells, really. Okay, he goes Pekka. He meant to go the other lane, but it gets dragged to this lane. Alright. I'm gonna rage this f um, right here. He goes Zap. Arrows. Got the Mother Witch, too. Okay. Wizard does not die to that anymore. But bro just came in clutch right there. I'm gonna go Prince here. Bomber. He goes with the Mother Witch, but Prince is just too much. Prince and Bomber. Another go to combo. Alright, I gotta go Golem to defend. He's got Void, but can he cycle back to Arrows in time? He chooses not to. He would have gotten the recrowned if he did. Let's go, guys. Guys, moral of the story. If you like Cannoneer, use Cannoneer. If you like Princess Tower, use Princess Tower. But you do have to realize that if you're going to do that, the style of your deck is going to have to change. We have a lot of great answers for Swarm because Cannoneer is, you know, not good against it. Um, still, we are vulnerable to Graveyard and stuff. But at the same time, um, you're you're very strong against a lot of the decks in the meta. And, you know, speaking of the devil, here is Graveyard. I'm going to go Golem early. He did go Poison. I don't know how we're going to be able to punish him here. Ice Wizard is tough to beat. I think we might have to split push. But I, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, he's got Bomb Tower. He doesn't have Tombstone. Let's go with Dark Prince and Prince. Let's see if, if he can actually like defend against that. Ice Wizard down. Golem's still alive. Prince is charging towards the tower. My dogs are going crazy. Um, so I apologize for that. Can't do much about that. Wow, the uh, Big Dragon did not target the bomber there. Bark, bark, bark. Um, I'm just going to go Phoenix. He goes with the Graveyard. We'll go Dark Prince. I'm going to go with the Prince onto the Ice Wizard. Great Pressure. Yeah, him not having Tombstone, that's kind of rough for Buddy here. Alright, we're going to go Golem. Got Bomber for this. I'll also go Dark Prince. Poisons as well. Just going to zap this. We're pretty even on damage right now. Just going to go Prince and Phoenix in the middle. I'm going to Arrow. I'm going to Rage. And I'm going to Evo Zap everything right here. Get our Golemites to the tower. While also doing some tower damage. Phoenix on the Baby Dragon. That's huge. Alright, we gotta go Phoenix. We gotta go Bomber. I also have to go Dark Prince. We gotta minimize damage. Oh, okay. We might be able to spell cycle. Um, but I do have to go Golem in order for this to work. Can't not go Golem in this situation. Uh, yeah, he's gonna do that. I'm gonna have to rage up. Have to get a bomber as well. 
Alright, now I'm gonna arrow. Now I'm gonna zap. If the goal might can get there. Yeah, it did. It did. What's rage? Evo bomber? Arrows? Dark Prince got there in time. Let's go. We just beat Graveyard. No way. Alright guys, this will probably be the last game. I've lost two in a row. Unfortunate matchups. Uh, I kind of wish I had Void. And this guy is just giving up. Alright, well. That's going to be the outro. Um, I'll take that free game. This deck... It works pretty well. Sometimes you wish you had Void, but overall I think if you play smart, play defensively, get a good golem push, you can get double lane pushes, you'll be just fine. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and this deck in the comment section below. Peace out.